Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you how to manipulate this photo. So how to do that? This one is uh, like composite photo or uh, manipulate photo with the uh, uh, girls, lights and the backgrounds, different types of things and the uh, sense, shadow highlighting, everything. So if I expand this one or double click the smart object, it will open up a new window and then you will watch the what is the real scenario so this one the background actually and the girl shadow highlight dodge and burn and the rain effects by the dust and the lights like that and the color lookup and everything else so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification at first going to the file and taking new options and taking the artboard which is uh, 2000 pixel or 3000 pixel by 3000 pixel okay 2000 is okay for me hit the create button at first i'll go to the file and place embedded options i'll import the stock image uh, the grasses i downloaded this one from devina.com and i'll provide you the download link of that photo so after placing this one hit the tick button mask it out press g from the keyboard for the gradient and you can remove that portion before that you have to check out the black and white that means foreground color is black and white for the background color so check it out and after that i'll make this like that okay after that taking a background the solid color like this that's good and now i'll import sky go to the file and place embedded options I downloaded the sky and other stock images from devinand.com and provide you the download link of that images in my video description so check out my video description i'll give some black over there or you can make it the perspective view so press ctrl or command t for the grass layer right press and perspective and press the alter option button and make it it like that it will make sense to perspective like this rotate this one by pressing the flip horizontally i'll make this one that's fine so in this portion you are getting some white area go to the brush tool b from the keyboard and make sure that this brush is selected making the brush size bigger by pressing third bracket opening and closing and remove that now time to add some lights and adding some shadows select this one before that i will make grass this one sky and bg for the background that's good and now go to the brightness and contrast making it mask and brightness will be it will affect only the grasses that's good and now i'll import the girl's photo before that we have to remove the background of the girl's photo go to the file and open up and that is stock image i downloaded from devianna.com and open it up 2019 and 2020 version of the photoshop you're getting the select subject options or this one and if you press over there the photoshop will take time and select the subject automatically after that go to the select and mask options make this one black from here the background color and you can make the settings like this smoothness 40 contrast 15 percent shift or a shifting minus 53 and select here new layer with the layer mask and hit ok and i'll take this to in this window press ctrl or command t making it smaller like this here if you make it zoom you will watch some uh, lines over there if you watch lines over there you can remove by pressing brush tool otherwise right press and apply layer mask now this one is no longer in a mask options you have to choose this one like uh, this one is normally png image okay 
now i'll add some shadow and other steps before that i have to make this thing in a group and giving bg the background layer this one totally background layer this one is guard layer making it a little bit upper set and make the positioning to convenient of you giving the name girl that's fine taking this one another uh, layer another blank layer so go to the edit options from here go to the fill and 50 percent gray here and hit okay right press make it clipping mask and changing into blending mode to overlay now i will do the dodge and burning process and before that i have to make the shadow under the girl so taking over there or the brush tool make the size convenient of you and make the making it smaller that's good take the opacity 50 or 60 percent flow 60 or 70 percent and that means the light is coming from the left side and shadow is appearing into the right side okay left and right you have to measure this one now this one shadow this one is dodge burn dodge burn layer and here is the dodge tool and burn tool if you apply the burn tool it will be black that means if you burn something it will be black this area as well little bit not too much little bit you have to make this one okay now time to add some rains and the temples in this portion i'll add some temples go to the place embedded options here some temples photo making it bigger that's fine and making it into screen or like soft light mode make the opacity down that's fine making it mask take the brush by pressing b and just make it disappear okay. that's fine and now for the feel or for the ambient you can add some bard photo bard png go to the place embedded options here's some bard png i downloaded these things from cleanpng.com you can find that link in my video description and making this one into the low opacity okay that's fine now time to add some lights in this ball okay go to the place embedded options so here this one making it more smaller just make this one into screen mode okay controller command j controller command j controller command j and controller command j you can make more copy of that make this one smart object convert to smart object the background layer and now go to the filter go to the blur gallery and tilt sheet blur i'll make it little bit blurry so like this it will help you out to make the depth so here i'll make the depth 13% blur is okay for me and hit the create button okay if you want to change the blur double press over there you can change the blur over there this one is the advantage of using the smart object okay i'm selecting the girl layer giving the name girl now i'll add the rain go to the place embedded options i downloaded some fogs actually the dust i would like to make that dust into the rain so making it bigger fit with the skin and go to the filter go to the blur options motion blur so make the, the blur value actually the angle that is minus 60 degree and the distance that is 83 percent and hit okay make this one into screen mode but light damaged over here the before light was like that but here you are getting uh, overexposed how to manage that go to the adjustment layer go to the levels options from here make it mask it will affect in this 
dust only and change the light into like that so overall we'll uh, apply the lights and other stuff we can uh, manage over there rain is good for that okay selecting all the layers making it group actually i should take this one as well making it group and making another smart object now i'll go to the filter and camera filter from here i'll add uh, like uh, the lights or other stuffs that means i'll change the exposure like that contrast and the texture i'll add texture a little bit like that and highlight i'll make down the highlight and hit okay so after that i'll make this one another um, uh, things from here i'll add go to the color lookup options go to the foggy nights and make the foggy night that is 40 percent only that's fine now i'll add uh, another things uh, so i'll go to the filter nick collection and color effects pro 4. this one is another plugins of the photoshop if you want to get the download link please check out my video description from here i am using here cross processing lots of method over here which one is perfect for your photographs i don't know i'll use here c04 is good for me and hit okay so it's taking time to load up and provide you the update and this one actually the color lookup i'll make the color lookup opacity mode down and you are getting the output like that this one is enough for today and hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section stay safe stay at home until the next video i may be signing out today bye bye